It's our own welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time, oh boy, last time, last time we made our way through, well, you know, part of Brightstone Cove. We did tag out our boss, the Prowling Magus, and we fully upgraded our badass old night sword to plus 10, so... You know, some stuff was achieved, however, mostly we died. Again, and again, and again, and again, and I could go on and on, but, uh... Yeah, this place, I gotta say, seems pretty goddamn dangerous. Get out the way! So... Yeah, I, honestly, I know we haven't even finished this yet, we are probably not even close, but, uh... I'm gonna go out and leave here and say, so far, this is easily the most dangerous area in the game, for me personally. It's kind of freaking insane. What's up, Spider-Man, buddy? Get off the edge, or at least die. Perfect, and we look... God damn, why is there a crystal... Well, I know why there's a crystal lizard there, because it's a dick location to put it, because it kind of bends it off the edge and get you killed, which it kind of did last time. It was mostly me jumping on this fella, but at least we got him this time. And God, that felt good. Okay, now, we're gonna try and drop on Basilisk body there. Oh, by the way, I think I know why the Basilisk here don't actually have eyes. Well, not why they don't have eyes here specifically, but, uh... Basically, there was kind of, uh... If you go on, like, the wiki, for example, you can look at a close-up picture of a Basilisk, and they have little eyes, like, just above their sort of faces. The big ones on top of their head are speculated to be fake, you know, for, uh... Intimidation. You know, like, in the wild, like, a butterfly will have bright colors, or... A poisonous frog will or whatever, so... People don't, you know, they're like, that's right, don't mess with that shit, so... It's kind of like a defense mechanism, at least that was what speculated, so, uh... The fact that there's some here that don't actually have the big eyeballs is kind of confirming that, at least in my opinion, so, uh... Yeah, they seem to be the same, just, you know, they don't have the defense mechanism, don't know why, but there you go. Get out of here, spider Oh, God! You, sir, are not supposed to be here. Hey, am I dead? Okay, I'm alive, holy shits. Can we survive is the question. I don't think we can. That was uh, that was quite the ambush there. Okay, suddenly we are dying. Okay, we healed. Didn't think that was gonna work. Nice AI path thing. <laughs> really? That missed you? Okay, we need to kill the spider. Okay, spider bro's dead. Now it's your turn, you son of a bitch. Are you wielding a pickaxe? What the hell, sir? What? Oh, God. Pickaxe really hurts, apparently. Don't, no, no, no. Why is there another spider? What the hell? Die. Thank you. Look at that spider was trying to attack him, but uh, maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe I'm amazed by the way that I love you. Ah, uh -huh, dodged. <laughs> well, you know, apparently not. I was not expecting that. We are low. Oh, good lord. We are low on HP again. This guy. This guy. Bit of a pain in the dick. Yeah. Bit of a pain in the dick. Ah, it's your best. Now die, you son of a bitch. Oh, come on, man. Really? The sword's gonna break again. This is the worst timing ever for everything. Okay, so uh, we need to change weapon. Anything will do. Where, where the hell? Where the hell is my bro? Thank you. Now you're mine. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. My God, I, I just want to kill you. I just want to kill you. I also want to heal now because you've nearly killed me. I should. Did he? He just estus. Oh my God! I should not be having this much trouble with this guy, buddy. Just let me backstab you. This sword is pathetic. I mean, I know it's only plus three, but goddamn. Really? I cannot backstab for shit in this game. Finally, we killed the guy. Jesus, that took way too long and I came way too close to death way too many goddamn times, but at least he's dead. There's my blood stain. <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't see it last time, by the way, go back and watch the last episode. I, I kind of panicked and rolled off the edge there because I was getting chased by the Red Phantom and like a million other dudes. I don't know why there's like random Red Phantoms in this game because uh, they don't seem to actually invade you. They just, they're there. It's very strange. Maybe there's some kind of lore explanation for that. Maybe it's just random, you know, I... I lie ahead. Why does everybody say that? I... I didn't mean to cl God damn it! I do that every single time. I'm mashing the button for the freaking invisible wall as an, uh... I click the X button for no reason. Oh, God! What the hell was that shit? I... Was that, like, sand or something? Well, I, I guess so. The room looks kind of... That was weird. It looked more like wind. Well, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Can we get... Really, it's locked. Oh, my God. Okay, so it looks like we're probably gonna go back across the... What the hell? Oh, my God. Scare the crap out of me. It was just the corpses. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it looks like we're supposed to go back across the bridge back out where uh, we saw the red phantom guy. And again, like I said, I don't know why there's red phantoms that don't seem to invade you. There might be a lore explanation for that or... Maybe there's none whatsoever, it's just a game mechanic guy. Honestly, don't know. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Do we want to do that? Probably not. Anything here to attack me? 
There's a dead fella and uh, there's some booty. Donut chunk. Nice. This place good for donut chunks, if nothing else. Don't give up. I... I... I kind of want to. <laughs> this place is kicking my ass. And again, at least we've cleaned out this area down here, but it looks like we are nowhere near done and we're out of Estes, so... Yeah, it's not going well, suffice to say. If we can find a bonfire, that would be real nice, but it looks like we're not going to. Did we go in here? I don't think we did. Hello? Bonfire? Doesn't look like it. Now, looks like this leads us back up to, uh, I think this was where we jumped on the spider guy? Maybe? Or kinda near it? I don't know where the hell we are. Well, we found some booty. Yeah. Apparently you can see the Dark Spirit from up here, so I'm guessing we could probably come up here and snipe him or something. Bit too late for that, though. I don't know if he's gonna respawn, I would assume no, but um, who knows. Well, anyway, enough procrastinating as much as I really don't want to go in this freaking door with a spider motif on it, because I remember what happened last time when a door with a spider motif on it. Looks like we ain't got much of a choice. Oh, shit. Two Spider-Man, you ambushing scumbags. Okay, this ain't good. Now, the, again, you gotta remember we're using a freaking plus three broadsword here. This is not my ideal weapon. And we do take damage in this pit, however. It's very, very low, and you know what? It gives us a chance to- Oh, we can't get out here. Well, shit. Gives us a chance at least to get away from them, and apparently they take damage in here as well. That's handy. Oh, God! No, 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 don't die. Okay, we're not dead. Thank you. We got some booty. What do you have? A lot Jesus Christ, man. This place is real good for tiny chunks. Okay, so what the hell's gonna go on in here? I'm guessing... Yeah. I had a feeling. Okay. Well, we could probably shoot him. Apparently, I don't have my crossbow equipped again. I don't really know if we want... well... Uh, I'm kind of tossing up in my mind whether we should shoot that guy and potentially just anchor everybody or... Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do here because there's a lot of freaking spiders, like a lot of the goddamn things. Well, either way, they're going to attack us, aren't they? So... Yeah, I guess we should do that. And we're going to pawn the Exploder Ring because the other one ain't really doing much for us, but... I don't really know that it's going to save us. And yeah, it's annoying that I used my repair powder last time trying to see if we could repair the completely broken uh, old man, old knight greatsword. Because if we hadn't done that, we could repair the damn thing now. Stand much more of a chance. But there you go. Really? How am I missing you? What's that bullshit? Okay, kill him before he gets to me. Fantastic. Okay, and we didn't alert the other ones. Okay, shit. Okay, so we got like five of the fellas, and we ain't got no freaking decent weapon. But uh, they holy crap, you do a lot of damage. God damn. Okay, well, uh, at least they don't have much HP, but, uh, yeah. Neither do we, apparently. Really? You hit me again? <laughs> okay, the ring exploded. I don't think it actually hit anyone, but it was cool nonetheless. Okay, is it just that one guy left? I think so. Duh! Thank you. Okay, what do you have? Ricard's rapier? What? Oh, the freaking phone here. I remember Ricard from the last game, so why is his rapier here, and why does a spider have it? What's up with it? An exquisitely decorated rapier said to belong to a prince who appears in an ancient tale. There are numerous variations of the story of the prince who wandered the lands and eventually became undead. The majority ended tragedy. Okay. So, again, I remember a card from the last game, or at least his rapier. You know, it was wielded by a guy. We don't necessarily know that it was Ricard who was wielding it, but... Assumably. So, uh... Again, why is it in this game? And why did a spider have it? That's, that's my biggest question. That's weird. Oh. Another freaking Spider-Man, fan goddamn -tastic. And these guys, the worst part about them so far, besides the immense damage that they do. Really? You freaking dick. Besides the... Really? What the hell, man? Besides the immense damage that they do, and apparently the immense freaking HP they have, is the fact that they don't really stagger, at least not very easily, so, uh... Yeah, you're beating the shit out of them, and they just hit you back, and they do a lot of damage very quickly, so... That's a thing. Anyone here? Uh, I was expecting a spider to drop down me, but no, apparently not. We got some homeward bones. Fantastic. <laughs> it's always funny to me when you find, like, a dead body with, like, homeward bones. Like, why didn't the guy just bone back to the bonfire before he died? What a moron. By the way, where the hell? Okay. We seem to be in a giant freaking room full of spider webs. There's gonna be a spider boss, isn't there? Oh, God, that don't bode well. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, where the hell is the next bonfire? Because Brightstone Cove is a ginormous freaking area. Because there was a whole section down below, which we didn't even check out, where the mages were shooting their freaking homing shots at me. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing we may have missed a bonfire down there somewhere, or at least somewhere. Assumably is another one, but I don't think there was a No Man's Wolf, so maybe not. But, uh, like, goddamn, if we're about to fight the boss, then I say about to. It looks like... <laughs> Looks like we have a whole room to get through before we even get to that possibility, but, uh, 
Yeah, if we're gonna find the boss down here, then this is a long way to go to get back, so I'm hoping there's a bonfire somewhere closer, because this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Is there really no booty around here? I am must I am most disappointed. What the hell? It's like nothing. Okay, I go oh god, almost fell. Guess we need to go down here. I'm pretty damn sure I just saw a giant boss. Can I hit you? I I don't know. I killed him. Suck all that. But uh, yeah, I see a giant fog wall down there, so I'm guessing that's gonna be our boss and again. Seems pretty likely it's gonna be a spider, isn't it really? I remind you, by the way, we have no Estus. We're running out of, well, not run out of life gems exactly, but we are out of good life gems. And we have a mostly broken plus three great uh, broadsword, so... Yeah, suffice to say, I don't think we're really in a decent position to be fighting the boss right now, so uh, yeah, if you can give me a bonfire game, that would be fan-freaking-tastic. Can I really not go back up here? Rip. Why can I not jump? Can you not jump on the webs? It looks like you can't jump. I, I swear I cannot jump. This, this is really irritating. Can I not jump? I don't think you can jump on the webs. Well, all right then. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fantastic. I nearly did from the fall, and there's a million spiders down here. Naturally. Okay, I I really want to kill you, but I need to wait around and get my HP back. Take your time, game. Take your goddamn time. Tended to pop another gen life gem, but uh, we don't really have them to waste. They're not, you know, they're a luxury, so... As much as I want to do that, it's not a good idea, and there's another one up there. I'd really like to... I guess I'd really like to look onto him, but no, apparently not. Well, all right then. Our sword is nearly broken again. This is insane. It's one complaint I have about this game so far. Well, here's a couple of complaints, but I've already voiced those. But uh, what I haven't mentioned so far is the whole weapon breaking system. I don't like that. It's really irritating, because normally you just find a weapon you like, and you can just roll with that. And, you know, you might have to repair it once in a blue moon, but god damn. Everything, everything... Everything breaks so damn quickly in this game, like this crappy sword. This ain't nothing special. The old night great sword, okay, I kind of get that that's a good weapon, so they're trying to balance it out. But why is this thing busted already? It's not particularly good, and I'm dying here. I can't believe you just jumped out of the way, you spider dick. But anyway, yeah, I really, really am not a fan of the weapon breaking system. Like, that's one, one major complaint I have. Like, it, it's one of those things that's... Not just like a little niggling thing, like it actually borderline ruins my enjoyment of the game, you know. Not the whole grand scheme of things, but to a fair degree, it's kind of ruined my enjoyment of the game, because a couple of times now I've died or, you know, been kind of completely screwed over by my weapon breaking, and like I say, this one's about to break as well, so I don't think it's even going to make it through this boss fight. And let's see if we make it through the boss fight, so... It doesn't seem like a good gameplay addition to me, it just seems irritating, you know? Unnecessarily so. And uh, I don't think we have any more repair powder. No. No, we don't. Well, shit. And uh, apparently that's uh, for weapon degradation. Don't need that. Need the damned opposite. Need to repair some shit. And we got some more booty. Should probably be careful because I think there's some spiders. And we get simple to the spice. Nice. I think what that does is it lowers the uh, intelligence requirement of a spell. So, for example, say we only had, I don't know, 40 uh, intelligence. And the spell required 41. We could use that on a spell to lower it from 41 to 40 so we could actually use it. I think that's why it does. I may be wrong about that, but I... What the hell? I have no words right now. What the fuck was that? For a start, it's bullshit that you cannot get out of grabs in this game. And second of all, it missed me. It jumped with its back to me in another fucking direction. Okay, I'm back. Had to take a break because that really, really pissed me off. And uh, I don't like raging on video. I know, I know that's some people's thing. Like, they just, you know, scream and shout and break controls and shit. That's not my thing. I don't think that's entertaining. I think that's immature and annoying. So, uh, yeah, I I had to go take a quiet moment there because that really pissed me off. I mean, uh, let's put it this way. In Dark Souls 1, I'm going to complain now, but I'm going to try and, you know, not be too negative. But uh, in Dark Souls 1, that, that's, yeah, shit. But in Dark Souls 1, if you got grabbed, you could mash the NLR triggers and you could get out of it. You know, that seems fair enough to me. And okay, in Dark Souls 2, at least as far as I know. And I may be wrong about this, if, and if I am, then fair enough. But uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to actually escape grabs in Dark Souls 2. Now, you could argue, don't get grabbed, it's your own damn fault. Yeah, fair enough. I, I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. But when a spider jumps in the opposite direction to you with its back to you, and then you get physically, like, teleported into its grab, and then it one-shots you. That's when I have a problem with that whole system. That was... 
That was quite literally the most bullshit death I think I have ever. I, God damn it! Stop shooting me. The most bullshit. Oh god. The most bullshit death I think I have ever seen in Dark Souls for me personally. So uh, yes, but see, that pissed me off. Okay, ran over. We're gonna have my damn system now. Uh, I don't know how it's best to deal with this room, so we're just gonna go charge again, cause I don't know what we should do, and I'm guessing this is a bit of doom here, so uh, I don't know if you can backstab these guys. It doesn't seem like you can, but then again, backstabbing, oh, hello. Backstabbing never seems to work on most people, so am I out of bolts? Oh, there we go. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Looks like we can go down there, but I don't really know if we want to do that. Lightning gun. And if we do, we suddenly want to wear the cat ring in the process, or oh, we can go this way. Okay. Look like we can go over here as well, unless I imagine it. I, uh, I no, you can't go over here. And there's uh, a giant ladder. Okay. Well, I guess we're checking down the giant ladder, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I I assume this just leads to the same place, but you know, without the giant fall. It seems to, and we found a bonfire. Holy freaking Louia! Thank God for that. And uh, again, it's true. Oh, hello. In true Dark Souls 2 fashion, it seems like bonfires are actually fairly close together, but. It's kind of dangerous getting from A to B, whereas in Dark Souls 1 it was less dangerous exactly, but they were really far spread out. So that's my opinion, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Dark Souls 2 is harder than Dark Souls 1. In fact, so far I would say that number 1 is harder, but we'll talk more about that later. But uh, yeah, as far as getting from A to B, it seems a little more challenging to me, but they make that shorter. And yes, they kind of rhymed. I see a stone filler out there. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scalamoose, Scalamoose, will you? Okay, enough of that. But uh, yeah, I see a stone fell around there, so I'm trying to figure out where the hell we are, because there was a couple of sections like that. Maybe. Oh, hello. This is really irritating. I'm going to have to kill these guys every damn time, so hopefully we won't die, but uh, we will. I'll spoil that for you. It's going to happen. You just know it. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the hell we are, because we came across a couple of sections like this. It looks to me like this might be next to the giant sand pit of doom, where there was like a. Uh, the sort of quicksand thing you're going on, so... Yeah, yes it is, okay. At least we know where we are now. And there was indeed a bonfire down here, which is what I speculated there would be. Don't hit me. Okay, so see if we can lure these spiders in here and not get shot. That would be nice. Okay, you are dead, fantastic. No, 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 no. God damn, those things go really well. I love our random explosions with the rings. I really want to kill this guy. This may be a bad idea, but... Oh, God! Okay, I'm nearly dead. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure that thing just exploded on me. It might have been the ring, but I think it exploded. And uh, I don't think it dropped anything, so... I'm oh, yeah. I'm wondering if that's just a trap, you know, so you, you go get it, because you're like, oh, booty, and it just explodes on you, or maybe when it explodes, that's why I didn't get booty, so maybe if I killed it before it exploded, it would have dropped something, or maybe I was getting like the same, maybe it was just the ring, but uh, I think it was the crystal lizard, so there you go. Is, what the hell is that? I don't know. I think that was a basilisk buddy shooting shit outside, so yeah, probably shouldn't go near that. Right, we found another exit. Did we go here before? I don't think we did. I No, we did not. And there's a chest. See, now I'm scared of shit of spiders because they're going to grab me. God, I hate these things. What's in the box? It better not be a trap or, you know, a freaking mimic or something, otherwise I'm going to rage. Okay, and we got a Krizenax and Soul Vortex. Sounds badass. I assume that's a spell. It looked like it to me. And again, we're not a sorcerer, so ain't really all that interesting to me, but it's cool nonetheless. And yes, we will be doing a sorcerer run. I think I mentioned this before, but uh, when we play the game again, when I know what the hell I'm doing, I'll probably play as a sorcerer, so it's nice to know where the shit is, if nothing else. And I do remember this room. Okay. So now, here's the question. From here... How, oh, I was going to say, from here, how do we get to uh, the giant, you know, boss fog that we were at before when the spider bullshit grabbed me, and we now know. And it looks like Red Buddy's not behind us, and frankly, I'm not gonna stop just in case. Well, anyway, at least now we're back where we were before, and since we've seen this all before and we got all the booty, we're just gonna run like hell. You, however, sir, you need to get out of my goddamn way. Stop hitting me. Okay, he's dead. He dropped something, but I really can't stop for that. That suck is probably a large tie shot, but let's be honest here, we have a plus 10 uh, all night sword. So we don't necessarily need it. It would be nice, but it's not necessary, and it will get me killed. I freaking guarantee so. Frankly, screw that shit. Right, now we need to figure out a quick way down here, because... Let's be honest, we're probably going to die to the boss, or the freaking spiders and that bullshit grabs and have to run back again. So if we can figure out a quick route down, that would be very handy. However, I don't really know. What might be a good idea is maybe wearing the cat ring, and then you could probably bend side down quite a bit. Don't really know if that will work. We shall see. Now, I seem to recall we went to the left before, and that was when we sort of slid down the wall and took a whole bunch of damage, so... 
Yeah, I did. we're gonna try it again, but, uh, ah, perfect, I thought that might work. Right now, can we get past the spiders and, you know, A, not get grabbed, and B, not get beaten the shit out of? That would be handy. Yoink! See ya, jerk ass! Stop hitting me! God damn it! We made it, finally! Shit, we've got to fight Sheila over a million freaking spiders, apparently. Okay, so plan A. Oh my god, I just took a lot of it. I nearly get already. Okay, anyway, plan A is kill all the little spiders, and plan B is not to die, so uh, yeah, we need to chug the Sunny D. Okay, now we're out Sunny D, that's not good. Yeah, oh god, that's pretty doom. Don't go that way. Why is there a giant? Oh god, there's so many things in this room I want to check out. There's like uh, a giant bit of web coming from the city, which may mean nothing, but it's kind of interesting. Oh god! It's kind of interesting to me. And, uh, we need to- Why are there still more spiders? Oh shit, we're out of that. Okay, I need to run. Oh god, it's doing it again. No, 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 no. We gotta die, we gotta die. Damn it! That sucked. That, uh... That could've gone better, but hey! At least we made it to the boss and we now know what we're doing, so if we can make it there at least with some freaking Estus, we might stand a chance. Maybe. Is this a new door? Yes, it is! Why is there like a creepy candle in the middle and a bunch of doors and shits? Basilisk buddy, ain't nobody got time for you. Really? You nearly shot me in here, my god. Hey, we got a flame butterfly. Not that great, but hey, it's something. But yeah, this is like a weird looking room. Like, very, very strange. Okay, well, whatever. Oh god, that nearly hit me. Wait a minute, did I just see something in there? Oh, that's where we were before, I think. And there's something in here. Thank god I didn't miss that. We get a ferrous lock stone. Nice, that's actually extremely handy. Holy shit, can turn the stone. Okay, that was close. Right, well anyway, I'm gonna wait here and wait for the uh, stone to wear off and then I'll run back to the boss. And I'll see you there unless I die or find something new along the way, but hopefully that won't happen. Okay, that run back went way better than the first time. And yes, the uh, cat ring is a good method to drop down quickly. Holy crap! Wow! God damn! Okay. Really? You can... Jesus! Okay, so, uh, the giant freaking spider of doom don't dick around. Okay, this time, this time we're very low on HP and I want to grab my shit and we need to heal. Oh, shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Okay, we're alive. And I really want to grab my stuff and, oh, God, the giant spider of doom shooting freaking acid and shit. I, I don't know what's going on, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to point out, we haven't even gotten near the boss yet. I feel like, well, in fact, you know, I was gonna say, I, oh, Jesus. I was gonna say, maybe like the Roar Authority, it's more about clearing the room first and then the boss is gonna be a lot easier. Undoubtedly, oh god, you can roll under that. Thank you. I was gonna say, well, undoubtedly it's gonna be easier, but it nearly killed me in one stab and it's jumping around all over the place and using a giant freaking laser of death, so... Easy? I wouldn't say so, but we'll see. Oh. Really? Oh, okay, so oh god. Holy crap. Okay, so you can hit it in the head, but apparently not the legs. Well, all right then, that, that throws a spanner in the works. Can I hit you in the body, I wonder? No, I can't. Well, shit! Okay, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. You can only hit it in the head, and apparently only right in the front. That's how uh, god. Oh, god. Am I no, I'm alive. Okay, Chug. And then get the hell out of there. Now, don't get stamped on again, for Christ's sakes. Now, do ya? Really? Come on, man! Well, screw it, whilst we're running over here to Life Gem, and please don't beat me up, we may as well grab the souls in last like 2k. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, now, let's see, because I've just noticed there's uh, actually two heads here, and yes, I know that's that's very slow of me, but, uh, here's what I'm thinking, right? There's two heads. Really? Can you only damage the... What the hell's going on here? I could have sworn we could damage both heads. Maybe you can only damage a certain one at a time, like maybe they come... Oh, God! Damn, I need to get out of the way of that damn move, but, uh... Yeah, maybe you can only uh, damage the active head, but I was thinking if you could damage both of them, you could probably run around to one end. Holy shit. That was like the best combo you could do then. That sucked, but uh, I was going to say, maybe you could lure one head into attacking you 
quickly run around behind it and then attack the other head and rinse and repeat, but if you can only attack a certain head at a time, that kind of throws a spanner in the works, so... Yeah, screw it away, let's run back again. Okay, this time you mind, you giant arachnid son of a bitch. Yeah! Okay, I was gonna say the charge attack seemed to work very well for crowd control and the spiders. Have we killed all of them? I think we have. Fantastic. With full HP, we've got all the rest of us. This is going well. Now, again, like I say, if you can lure one head into attacking and then run around and hit the other head, you can. Okay, so what the hell was I missing before? I thought like three times in a row it went right through the freaking head. So anyway, it seems like this is a good method because, uh, what just hit me? Oh, there's a little spider. Okay, that, that could have been fatal. That guy could have grabbed me. And, uh, we kind of need to heal. I'm going to use the life gem even though, you know, it's probably a bit of a waste. We may not need all of our Estus, but I'm going on the basis that we probably will, but, uh, we're doing a lot of damage here, we can get out of the way fairly easily, so as long as it doesn't stamp on me or anything like that, stop doing that shit. It seems like you can dump out its AI fairly easily by, you know, getting one hit to attack, running around, hit the other one, because it can react fairly quickly, god damn it, as you can see, but not instantly, so I still feel like it's way safer than just, you know, tanking one head at once, so, uh, yeah, we gotta rinse and repeat this shit, and uh, if this works, then I'm a goddamn genius. That's right, baby, do the stem. As long as it doesn't land on me, I don't give a shit. What the hell are you doing? Stop bouncing off the stem of the motherfucker's head! God damn, that's annoying. Okay, just get right around this grill. Oh, not that much in this grill. Jesus! Holy shit, that does so much damage. That leaves me so badly on the ropes every time, because stuff like that could fill... Oh, God. I guess it could stuff like that could just kill me very quickly, so, uh... Yeah, gotta be careful of that shit. I should not have gone for that extra attack. What the hell is it doing? A giant lunge, apparently, and it didn't get us, so I'm guessing there's going to be a grab attack or something. Looked kind of like one to me. Yeah, that's right, keep stamping. That's the other thing I noticed as well, it doesn't stamp, it only seems to stamp from one end, so... Oh, good lord! Okay! Why can I not get out of the way of that damn move? Don't get my... Da -da 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 -da. Shit, it just spat a web on me. Okay, probably don't want to get hit by that. Okay, a couple more hits to you, sir, or madam. Oh, uh, you're alive. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Okay, do the lunge! Okay, one more shot! And you are mine! Finally! The dear Jukes Frazier, or whatever the balls it's called, is down. Oh crap! What the hell, man? You can't be serious! It's doing a freaking taunt! <laughs> that is so damn typical that one time I do a taunt like three boss flats and something springs out afterwards. And that just says there's a giant glowing red thing over there, so uh, I want to check that out, but suffice to say. I also kind of want to live, so, uh, yeah, if you could die, Spider Bros, that'd be very handy. Thank you. My... Yeah. Right, so what the hell is up with this thing? Examine. I don't know that necessarily we want to do that right now, because I know this is an exit over here, so... Why are there more spider? Get away from me! And this is an exit over... This... Why is there a spider here? What the hell are you doing, buddy? Hey. I know this is an exit over here, so I want you to out what's going down here first, because, you know... Maybe that'll teleport us or something, I really don't know. Is that an NPC? Lord's private chamber. Okay. Are you the Lord? Oh god, you're aggressive! Holy shit, you scared the crap out- Really? You're a weak son of a bitch. I've got the Bradstone key, and a friggin' brunch your which is handy, and a dark quartz ring. Plus one. Faith, plus one. Okay, can't smash this. Now, that sucks. Okay, so maybe he's the Duke? I really don't have a freaking clue anyway, so, uh, I guess we do want to go back and get this. But yeah, I was going to say maybe it'll teleport us away or something, kind of like the nest did after we beat the Pashur, which was not what I was expecting, but, uh, we shall see. Great soul embraced. Wait, what? Did I not get a soul when I killed it? I'm pretty sure I did. Why is there blue stuff on the floor? Oh, that's bloodstain. I thought it was like, uh, the web or something. I, I'm so confused right now. Jumping. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't freaking think so. Well, anyway, let's keep going this way, because there was another exit past uh, the hollow fella in there, the Duke, or whoever the hell that was. I don't really know, but, uh... Yeah, it's weird to me, because I'm sure when we killed the spider, we got the Duke's dear Frage of Soul. I think that was what it was called, but, uh... Yeah, it's a great... What the hell is that? I don't know. There's a bonfire. Oh, it's, uh... It's got no head, so I'm assuming that's Vengal's body. Hey, what you doing in here, buddy? Body? I don't know, but, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, we got the soul when we killed the boss, so why did it say Groat's Great Soul Embrace when I clicked on the red thing? I don't know what the hell is up with that. Maybe someone can explain that to me, because right now I am really goddamn confused. I don't trust this guy not to be very deadly when he hits me. 
Yeah, he kind of seems it. Jump attack. Okay, a couple more hits and you start my holy crap. Okay, it's down, and we got... Yeah, we did get Vengal's gear. Okay, so we slayed his body. We should probably go back to him and give him the good news anyway. I'm gonna end it here. Huh, Primal Bonfire? What the hell? That's weird. I... Oh, it takes us back to uh, Medulla. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.